Hey everyone, it is Sarah with Redbird Vintage Box and this is the June request video. Um, so to request an item, you will screenshot what you love here and on Instagram, send it all in an email to info at redbirdvintagebox.com with your full name and June requests in the subject line. Requests are not guaranteed. They are not first come first serve. Um, anybody can request any items. Typically the clothing and the larger handbags are reserved for the Loreen subscribers, which is the larger box that's $150 and includes clothing. Um, but as you know, the last couple of months, um, I've talked about that. I'm just, I'm really trying to downsize all the clothing. And so, um, you know, a lot of the clothing, you know, Marie's can go ahead and request that as well. And, you know, just, I mean, just request, you know, request whatever, whatever you want. You never know, um, what I feel like just getting rid of at the moment. Um, and so we do have the three boxes. We have the Marie, which is the subscription and you are charged monthly for that. And then we have the one-time purchase Redbird accessory box, um, which is again, just like the Marie, it is all accessories. It is a little bit higher priced because you get a discount when you subscribe. And then the Loreen, which is $150 and that includes clothing and just the more higher end vintage accessories. Um, Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I don't really have any jewelry that I'm showing. What I think I'm gonna actually do is, um, I'm gonna just start showing you stuff, um, is I'm going to just do like a little like of the jewelry that I currently have um, just up here, just because um, I have a lot of stuff coming in, but it is not coming in until like mid next week. And obviously I need to do the video and get it get it out so you girls can go ahead and request items for your boxes. Um, this one is so cute. Um, yeah. And if you follow our YouTube channel, you're, you'll see that I post like a YouTube short and it was really just, it's really just a short video showing, um, the, some of the accessories that I was photographing for Instagram requests. Um, this purse does have some wear, so you can see kind of you know, on the lining there and on the inside, up there is some wear as well. Um, but anyways, I started thinking just because these videos can get so long that um, I started thinking maybe I will just start doing YouTube shorts like throughout the month. Cause I mean, I feel like, isn't it just, just like Instagram stories, but it just doesn't go away. And, um, and so that way you girls can like watch things and screenshot it. You don't have to watch a video that's like 40 minutes. Um, it's a little crossbody. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if you have, if you have an opinion on that, I guess, let me know. Um, you know, I don't have, I'd say maybe, you know, 20% of the subscribers actually request items, which, you know, I mean, it's, I guess it's still a good number, but, um, you know, so if you have an opinion, let me know because, you know, I feel like I always end up doing the videos last minute. I feel like, and I can really see that in the video, but like when I'm looking at it, I don't know, it's not, it looks, it actually looks a lot worse in the video, but, but again, I mean, if you like vintage stuff, I think, you know, you're used to things having small defects. Um, and if you're new, to the channel then you know everything usually that i send out is in very good to excellent vintage condition um you know if it's not then it's usually reserved as like an extra um or i'll note it like if it's you know a victorian era brooch or something and it's got you know some dead stones you know i mean that's you know it happens um so that's to be expected i do believe that this is real fur yeah i think so a little, I mean, I would think there, but it's, it's, it's small. Um, a couple hats, Adolfo, I don't know guys here. Is it going to be, I think it's going to be, um, backwards. Super cute. I think I've shown this one before. We're really, sorry, I should have worn my hair down, but you know, it's, it's super cute. Um, I am definitely almost out of the hats. Um, this is an original by Desi, New York. 
And um, yeah, I am going to do a $5 sale video and it is going to be um, within just a few weeks. Um, this is very small and it says, you know, 22. And like part of me would think that it's a child's hat, but I know everybody's wearing them like, you know, back here and pinned on. So I don't know. You do you, but it's super cute. It's got a little feather. It's adorable. Um, let's see here. I have this little pink foo-foo one by Miss Fig. God, I'm so terrible with, with names. Um, yeah, they're super cute. And hats sometimes are, you know, they can be tricky just because they're so big. And so, you know, if they go in the bigger boxes. Distinction Fashion Guild Originality. This is a cool hat. Um, you know, it can, it can just get really expensive to ship. So, so we'll see. I have shown this one before. Definitely. It's like a little bonnet. Um, and, you know, we had some people request it but I don't remember who and if you didn't get it then it just means that you probably requested a lot of stuff and I had to choose and this one just didn't make the cut but it is available again it's very cute um small and then a purple beret um I have I got some really cute little um pin cushions for sewing this one's a duck um I got this because I thought that it would be good for like a, a pin holder like a hat pin you know, holder. And then once I got it home, I realized that the woman, they, like they, they technically don't match. Like, I don't think they go together. I mean, like it fits, but anyways, but I still love it. And um, if nobody requests it, then I'll probably just use it as my own hat pin holder. Did I show this one? The black one? I'm not sure, but we have a black one here. Um, and so I'm not going to ship the hanger with this, but this is for scarves to hang scarves on. And this just goes over like a wire hanger. So this will come off the hanger and it will be folded up in your box because the wire hanger will make it so that it has to go. I mean, I guess if you're a Loreen, I might send the hanger with you. But if you're a Marie and you get the smaller boxes, it's going to be folded up in the box. And so you'll have to supply your own wire hanger. But it's, it's really cute. I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, and so this is... So this, I mean, this came in, in like a vintage lot, to be honest, I don't, I don't know how vintage it really is. Um, it smells really good and it only has one soap in it. But I just thought the box was really pretty. It just had that, you know, the shabby chic look that I feel like all of you, all of you are always looking for. And then I have the, I have two of these and they'll come as a set. And, um, you know, I guess to like place things, place things on. That was fast. Maybe this will be a fast video. Probably not because I have um, quite a bit of clothing to show. Some old, some new to you. Okay, so let's do um, a jewelry, a jewelry drive-by. Okay, so again, I just, I have a lot, a lot of stuff coming in in the next week. So if you see anything here that you're like, yeah, that looks like something I would want. I'm not going to bother opening the drawers because I feel like this is probably, you know, enough um, to show. I guess maybe I'll open up the drawers for some of the earrings because I don't think there are any earrings. But, um you know, pause it, see if there's anything you like, you know, the crystal stuff. Some of them are, you know, single and then it goes up to like quadruple strands. Um, uh, you know, the beaded necklaces that have lots of strands. Um, this one is super cute. You can see it's long and um, really cool. And I believe one of the strands is loose, which is why I haven't moved it, but um, it's really cute. And then if you remember, we had these a while ago that they're not authentic, but they're really cool. It's a choker. So that's a lot of fun. Um, this is the ones that are left from the Instagram post. Um, let me see here. So 
I mean, we have, I don't know, I mean, these are post back, but I really don't have a lot of post back right now. Um, you know, those, those, these are all screwed back. Sorry, and I know it's not, this is a, it is a movie quality. My cinematography is not that great. Let's see here. Um, these are some of the shiny ones. So those are fun. Um, lots of pearls and sparklers and Aurora Borealis stones. Some diamondy ones. They're not real diamonds. So, and then the cluster beads. Okay. All right, let's do clothing. Okay, I lied. We're going to do like a drive by of the scarves as well. So, if you see a pattern that you love, go ahead and request it. Maybe this is just how I'll do videos from now on. I'm just like, let's just show you what is currently hanging up in the shop. This is one that I've had for a while because I don't think it's really vintage, but you can see it's a little I'm surprised that Juliet doesn't love that one and wants to keep it. Her lack of interest in vintage items is is upsetting. Super pretty, super fun. Another butterfly one. All right, let's get to clothing. Okay, so if if you're new to um, requesting or to the videos with the clothing, I don't bother with the sizing. If you love it, um, if you're a Lorene, then I already have your measurements. If you're a Marie and then you know that I don't have your measurements, go ahead and send your measurements along with um, with your requests. And the way that we that we measure the clothing is just so across. So like like this skirt right here, what I would do is I would say, okay, so it is 14 inches across, which means it's a 28 inch waist, okay? And there's a little bit of stretch. So if you say, I love this skirt, I want it. My waist is 29 inches. I might email you and say, hey, you know, do you wanna do you wanna try to fit into this? And you know, so hip on this one is 21 across. So 42, but since it's supposed to be a little bit loose, I probably wouldn't send it to somebody unless they had like a 40, tops 41, because you would want a little bit of um, wiggle room. And for the bust, it's the same thing. It's just across armpit to armpit, and then I double it. And when you take your, what we need is hip, waist, and bust measurement. For your bust measurement, um, I don't want your bra size. I want your actual measurement. Like I want you to take tape, go around, and say, Okay, I have a 39 inch bust, but I wear, I like, I wear like a 36, like B, right? But, um, but for my shirts, I would need it to be 39 with my bra that I like to wear. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you have any questions, then just, just ask and I will get them answered. So let's start the clothing. I love this one. You might've seen this one a couple months ago. You might have requested this one a couple months ago. But when I went to put it in someone's box, I realized that it had some damage. So I had to fix the damage and I have since fixed it. And it is absolutely beautiful. Here's a poncho. Now sweaters and the older dresses, like the dresses that are like 40s, 50s, 60s, some 70s, most of those are going to go to Loreen subscribers um, because I paid more for the older dresses and um, with the sweaters, they are so expensive to ship. And if you are international, then um, usually the, like even just adding on a half pound for shipping can be insane. Um, I love this one. I'm, I feel like if nobody requests it, I'm gonna keep it. Um, it is really comfy and I feel like it looks really ugly on camera, but I just feel like with black leggings and like boots for winter, I think it's, I think it's amazing. Um, I have this world's greatest mom little sweatshirt. It's probably like a small, extra small, but the neckline has been 
cut out. So it's got like a scoop neckline. Um, I have this bathing suit still, and I might end up listing this on Etsy if I don't have any buyers. It is a bathing suit. I do think things have been taken out. I don't think that it would work as an actual bathing suit, um, but it would be great for pictures. It is really, really, really beautiful. Ties in the back. So, love it. A little velvet skirt. I feel like I'm really hyped up. We had um, my aunt and uncle and my parents came by today. My aunt and uncle are in town from Texas. And so we showed them around like the house and and the Redbird house and you know, they, they're they downtown right now doing stuff. But I spent, you know, yesterday and then all this morning really just like cleaning. Um, and I just feel like, like super hopped up on like caffeine and adrenaline. And you know, like, and I, I, I honestly, like I just, I can't wait to get home because like everything's really clean right now. And so I want to just like sit in my house while it's clean before the kids just destroy it. So that's probably why I'm going a little bit too fast, but that's okay. Um, so, oh my gosh. So last, I guess it was like three days ago. Um, there was, I was driving by the front of this house and I saw what looked like a little black kitten and sitting on the porch. And I was like, this is it. It's happening. The universe is giving me a kitten gonna have a cat it's gonna be great um and when I, I came inside and um and I went to the front porch and I realized it wasn't a kitten it was definitely I don't know like it, it could have been a really older cat um that was so so messed up so messed up that um, it was like all curled up into a tiny ball and it had like matted hair and what we now know was probably scabies um like all over it and its face was so matted that it looked like it was matted in like an angry frown and um and so you know I'm standing out there for uh, like a couple of minutes just talking to it and it's like myself just like okay so what do I do what do I do so I came inside and I got you know some blankets and a box and I was like I'm gonna try to pick it up and put it in this box and you know well you know I'll see what the damage is and um and so when I went to go and pick it up you know, it tries to run away and it kind of fell over. And um, and each time I tried to pick it up, it, it tried to get away. So I was like, okay. So I got some tuna fish and some milk and some water and I put it down and I'm calling my husband at this point. And he's, um, so I guess this was Saturday because he was home. And, um, and, and I was like, there's this kitten and um, it's in really bad shape. I was like, it's obviously dying, but I want to like, I want to get it in this box. I want to get it in this blanket. It was really, it was rainy and gross like the week before. And then it was going to be rainy and gross the next couple of days. And I was like, I just, I want to like make it so that when it dies in the next couple of days, it's got like, you know, like it's not just sitting underneath a bush. And he was like, oh, okay. And so he comes over this is really, really wrinkled. Um, it's going to need a good steaming. This was actually, I had to mend this. It's like a new button. And um, I just haven't steamed it yet. I just threw it up here for you guys. So, Anyways, my husband comes over and he's like, Sarah, like, we can't save this cat. Like, we need to call animal control. Like, you can't even get in. I think I could. I couldn't get it in the box. But it was eating some tuna fish and some milk. And so I said, well, that's, you know, that's a good thing. Because if it was on the verge of death, I don't think it would have been eating. So animal control comes and she was so sweet. And she got the cat and was like, do you want updates? And, um, and this is when I get ridiculous. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I have two kids. One is 12, my son Harrison, 12. My daughter Juliet is nine. And um, Harrison has made some new friends that live near the neighborhood and he's spending the night at their houses. And he just, Harrison and I have always had a really, really good relationship. We hang out, we watch movies. We, we do like, we have always been very close. And I maybe am not having the easiest time with the transition but I am self-aware enough to know that I need to not let him really know that and I need to not like hold him back from his friends and so it's Ryan my husband who's getting the brunt of it of me just like crying like I just I just I just miss him and, and you know he used to want to go to the movies with me and now he wants me to drop with whatever and um so I've had a really bad night the night before because he had had like a three-day 
basically sleepover with his friends. And also he's gotten a little mouthy, which is new. And um, so it already had a bad day. So when, so we're back to the cat now. So when the cat, um, when the, when the humane person, you know, came and was like, you know, would you like an update? Um, I start crying, like heaving sobs, like in the driveway next to her. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm having these issues with my son who I just really miss. And I was just like, you know, praying last night. I'm like, you know, I just, I want something to love, but you know, I want something that needs me to take care of it. And I just feel like nobody needs me and blah, blah, blah. I was like, and then this morning, all of a sudden, here's this cat. I was like, and like, don't you think like it's the universe sending me a sign that like I'm supposed to take care of this cat and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and so, and she's, she's so sweet. She's so nice. I was so ridiculous. And she was like, oh my gosh, no, like I'm an animal person. I know what you're talking about. I believe in signs and we can definitely give you an update. And then she was like, I just need you to know that, you know, the running that you're seeing, you know, it's probably a neurological issue because, you know, I don't think it's not a joint issue. It looks like it's neurological that, you know, he's getting confused. And, um, and then she was like, and also, I don't know if you saw or not, but you know, when I picked him up by his scruff, where all of the, what I thought was like matting was, she was like, all that fur just fell right off. She was like, so I have a feeling he's got some scabies going on too. And, and she was like, you know, is there a no kill shelter? So she's like, you know, we're a no kill shelter. And so, you know, we're gonna do everything we can. But she basically was like, prepare yourself for the worst. And, um, and he's still alive. So, I mean, I feel like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I might end up taking him in, but, but we'll see. I have to be careful just cause I have my three dogs already. And um, so I'm not sure. These are some amazing 80s jeans and I can't keep the cat here because I have the guinea pigs here. Probably not meant to have a cat, but guys, it was, it was pretty embarrassing. And I also, I'm somebody who like, when I get overwhelmed or stressed out, I just cry. I just, it just, I just cry and um and it's like the thing I probably hate most about myself um just because whenever I get into situations where like mentally I feel like I'm being like really strong I come across as like just this emotional basket case um this is a little Laura Ashley dress I've shown this before it has a very um small waist it's probably you know I'm gonna go ahead and my measuring tape we'll go ahead and we'll measure this just because so many people request it and it is just it's frustrating how some of the cutest things are so small so it's like a 32 inch bust max and a 26 inch waist and I'm gonna go ahead and measure this one too because this was another one that I've had for a while that lots of people request but it is very small this is like a 28 inch bust and it's an empire waist and the empire waist so right under your bust is going to be 26 and then it's i mean honestly even at like the waist hip level it's still only like a 36. so you know this is for super or super petite super petite but oh my gosh i love it so pretty but anyways, I wish that I could um, fix that about myself. That instead of crying when I get frustrated, I instead am able to talk like in a commanding tone. This one is super cute too, but it is also like an extra small. Um, I also, you know, I have subscribers who will request things for like friends or their daughters or things like that. And you are free to do that if you want that to still be an item in your box. Um, at this point with the clothing, if you are not a subscriber, but you're wanting to purchase things, um, I can almost guarantee you that the price for individual items that you might want to purchase is probably going to be more than the cost of the Marie box, but, um, but definitely, you know, try me. I am going to, I think I have... I have a ton of clothing coming in from a warehouse as well, which will hopefully arrive next week, but um, sometimes they take longer. And then I will be going back to Vero Beach to do a clothing 
by there at that warehouse. Um, probably not next week, but the week after, but I do have to contact them and make sure that they've got a lot of dresses available just because that seems to be the thing that everybody, that everybody wants. I've had this one for a very long time and it has been requested a few times, but the measurements have not worked out. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is by Susie Peretti, New York. And so, um, you know, if you don't, if you haven't been following us for a while, I do feel like, I feel like most of the people who watch the YouTube videos have, um, it's like they've watched them from the beginning <laughs> for like the past like seven years. But, um, but if you haven't, then the reason, um, that like clothing and stuff isn't typically listed on the site is because I hate photographing it. I'm not good at it. I really don't have a good space for it. When I got this house, I was hoping to get a good space for it. I know I can get, like I have, I've had like the, um, you know, the backdrops before, you know, that are set up on the poles and stuff. And I just, I just do not have, um, I don't have that talent. And I went as far as to get, um, this is the two piece and it's very, very small. So it's like strappy, has a little thing over it. And this is for like, it's like for like a teenager. Um, and I went as far once to get professional photos taken and um, and I hated the way those looked. And I was really irritated because I paid her a lot of money, but I just felt bad because she was like a friend of a friend. So I didn't want to like complain. So I just never used the photos. Um, so anyways, it's sometimes the girls get really, really good deals on the clothing because I don't bother to take the time to, um, to photograph and list. But I like, I like, you know, y'all having the good deals. If you were here like a year and a half ago, I think is when we bought out the antique store and we still have a few clothing items from there, but oh my gosh, I just remember her opening up the, um, the trailer that she was like, she showed us like the clothing on like a rack inside. And I was like, sweet. And this was in South Carolina. And I was like, this is enough. Like this is worth the drive. This is amazing. And she's like, well, you know, and I also have the clothing out here. And, um, and we had already agreed on a price for me to take all of the clothing that she was like, you know, it's about a thousand pieces of clothing, you know, can you do this price? And I was like, yes. And it was a total, total gamble because she really didn't have any pictures. She only had like a couple pictures of stuff, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, I know that like these, these things are really good. And if there is enough of that good, then I should be able to make my money back. And it was going to be fun because it was going to be like my first like huge purchase. And I remember getting there and almost having like a panic attack when I saw what she had that I was like, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. And then we ended up buying out like all of her fabric and a ton of jewel. I mean, all, I mean, it was just literally it was a subscriber who, who introduced us to her and gave us the heads up there. So we'll forever be grateful to Heather because that was, that was the most fun. And I think I ended up making like three trips up there that one was by myself, one was with um, my family and we stayed overnight. And then one was with Karen. It was a great time Two, You know, we might have gone there four times. This is from Mod Cloth and it's a couple years old and it just feels like something that some of you would love. So it's a little dachshund. It's just a little very lightweight sweatshirt. So that's not, vintage it's inspired this is a super cute fun sweater with like a little white blouse underneath and like trousers it's a gr that great green color i know it's busy but i love it i think it's cute and then this little duck sweater do you guys watch um yellow jackets because i feel like this is a sweater that like misty would have worn like when she was younger I love Christina Ricci and I love, I don't know who the actress is who plays young Misty, but oh my gosh, they're so good. Oh my gosh, do you guys watch success? I serious, I feel like I've had like eight cups of coffee. And I don't know why, because I haven't. It's just been an eventful day. So we watch Succession. I don't know if you guys do or not, but if you do, then if Kieran Culkin doesn't get like massive awards, I will be shocked because he, they're all amazing. 
and I don't mind the ending. I'm not even gonna say anything because if you haven't watched the last episode yet, then I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone. Um, but man, it's just a basic black, lightweight turtleneck sweater. But that's a good show. I feel a little bit weird now that it's over. Oh my gosh, and I love this one. This is like Christmassy. I I might end up asking Karen if she wants this. Look at those bows. Isn't that fun? I don't know if she would want it or not. So if you want it, then request it. And um, I'm sure I'll check with her and see. I think I've shown these before. So this is like, they're both like flowers, but this is a little jacket. And it's super heavy, it's beaded. So, um, you know, if you are overseas, this just, I mean, this would probably add like 20 bucks to your shipping. So that is why if you have requested it before, but you're overseas, it's why you didn't get it. Um, this is like a longer tunic one. Again, heavy sequins, heavy beading all the way around. Um, you know, I cannot guarantee that all the beads are going to be there, um, but I have not noticed any ridiculous flaws and I do look very closely. So those are both really fun. Um, I got a couple t-shirts in a random vintage box. And so I, you know, I don't, I don't know, but I feel like somebody might want this. And it does say I got a crystal shoved up my ass at a Erica Badu concert. Um, but, and I don't even know how vintage this is. I don't even think it's, that is probably just from the last couple of years. Um, none of these are single stitch. So they all, you know, are that new. This one's from 2000 Miller Lite, 2000. And um, all of them have some spots. All of them have some wear. They have been washed. This one seems to be shorter somehow, but if you tie it up, then that could be a lot of fun. 1993 so yeah still like 90s 90s t-shirts um okay let's get some blouses so we have this one and so again if you're new like i don't i will usually um try to point out any kind of damage that something has obviously you know things can be missed um but I do not consider things like itty bitty tiny spots, like towards like the end of the shirt or anything that can be like hidden. I don't consider that damage. Um, nothing will have like missing buttons. Um, nothing should have holes that, you know, I mean, it shouldn't have holes. Nothing should have holes. But, um, but again, there might be like a spot and we'll usually point that out. some little 70s tops with some fun buttons this one does have like on the side here which you can see it has like it's like I guess technically like a little rip in the seam um, that is pretty easily patched up it kind of has it on the other seam too so it's like somebody whoever tried to wear it maybe maybe it was a little bit big for it but Super cute. Okay, we've got some sleeveless tops. Really, really pretty colors. And yeah, like the other day, Harrison, who is again is 12. Um, shows me a video that he's like, hey, my friends are on a boat and I want to go on this boat too. Now we live in Florida, okay? And everybody knows that there are alligators in every body of water. It's why people get made fun of. If you get eaten by an alligator or attacked by an alligator in Florida and you're like near the water, you're like walking your dog near the water or you're swimming in the water, people don't even have sympathy for you. They're like, I don't get an idiot. Like, <laughs> there are alligators there and again do i think this is a lake placid situation where there's like a mammoth alligator just waiting to eat human flesh no i don't think that do i think that if my son is on a boat and he jumps out of it and he lands on an alligator 
that is just like under the murky water that that alligator is not gonna be like holy moly someone just jumped on me i think i'm gonna defend myself and bite off his leg yes i definitely think that that could happen and so when harrison says this i want to go on this boat with my my two friends i'm like immediately no like that's not it's not even anything that's going to happen and we later find out that um the mom of one of the boys who we know um she owns the boat and she drives the boat and i guess her parents have a lake house that's on like like a private spring fed lake which i'm like this is a good friend it's a good friend to have right um so we did allow him to go, but that was the catalyst for my kind of breakdown because Harrison was really rude about it. He's like, you guys don't know. You don't even know what you're talking about. And we're like, who owns the boat? And at the time he's like, well, I don't know. We're like, well, what lake is it? Because Lake Dora right near us, which people boat on, tons of alligators. Like you see them all the time. And, um, and it's murky water. It's not like, I don't know. And um, so he's like, I don't know who owns the boat. I don't know who's going to be driving the boat. I don't know if there are life jackets. I don't know what lake we're going to be on. Like, he knows nothing. And so we had to give him this long lecture about after, like, we talked to the the guy's mom. So this is, like, a cool lot jumpsuit. Um, we had to give Harrison a long lecture after we talked to the mom. And we were like, from now on, like, if you want to do something new, you need to come up with all the information first so that we don't get into a fight when it's perfectly acceptable for you to go although i was still a little bit nervous um because they did go tubing i don't know guys parenting is really hard like i actually very much understand the generation that is saying now nah, we're gonna we're gonna wait on the kids because oh my gosh the stress that comes with it so i showed this last month too and the measurements just didn't work with anyone who who wanted it but it's super cute a two-piece thing yeah I think you know Karen decided to not have kids and you know I have a feeling like for the last like five years you know it's kind of like an off and on well I don't know maybe I don't know maybe and I do think that me having the kids and being really vocal about like the hardships that happen has made her feel like okay you know I think I made the right choice this is a little vest um because you know if you're a mom you know that it's like once you have them like the love is, is, is like nothing, right? Like, I mean, the kid can, can literally do anything and it just never, it's like nothing. It's like nothing you've ever had before. And, and one of my favorite stories to tell is how I was nervous before I had Harrison's little blazer. It's like silky. Um, I was nervous that I would not love Harrison as much as my dog, Alexander Marco, who I had had for like seven years or so before I had Harrison. And, um, and I was, I was, I was scared. I was legit scared. Cause I was like, there's, I'm not, I'm not going to love anything more than Alex. Like there's just not, I did not probably did not even love it, I, I guess I, you know, that's wrong. Cause I was about to say, I probably didn't love my husband as much. That's not true. It was just a different kind of love. It's the same thing with kids. It's, it's a, it's a different kind of love, but I was, I was so scared and I am sad and a little ashamed to say that within i mean it took it took a couple days probably within a couple days these are obviously scarves they're like big scarves it took a couple days but um you know my love for harrison is just you know obviously way more so that's a black one with like little god i don't know tails to each their own my loves um okay so we have an apron I forget where I was going with the kid thing just that it's hard okay so we have this coat I want to say this is real fur this is like an extra extra small um it ties and then it is missing the belt that goes around it but obviously you can find a different belt it is absolutely absolutely beautiful um yeah love it um this would definitely have to be a Lorene subscriber um if you're a marie subscriber and you want to pay like actual shipping costs we can probably do that too 
Um, I love this coat. I wish, I wish it fit me, but it doesn't. So goes to you guys. Um, show this hat again. I feel like I've been keeping this because part of me really loves it. It, it does fit my head. It just, with my ponytail, it doesn't, but so cute. But I've been saving it for so long and I have not worn it anywhere. Um, so, okay, that is it. So if you're not yet a subscriber, you can go to redbirdvintage.com and see what all we have to offer. Um, I do still have material and a couple jewelry items on Etsy, but I did get super lazy with posting on there because we all know I don't like taking pictures and posting things for sale, but the material's doing really, I'm really happy that I got that done because um, that material really has just been sitting there for a while. Um, we do still have the mystery sewing box on the site. And again, if you're not on our email list, go ahead and sign up. I will shoot out an email and probably do like an Instagram post about when the $5 sale will be. It'll be like five, 10, $15 for items. Um, and yeah, so I hope you saw something that you love. And if you have any questions, just shoot over and email. All right. Thanks, guys.